Join me right now on Kumite TV is the newest member to the KSW roster, Jason Radcliffe. What's going on, Jason? How you doing, brother? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, good. man. Let's talk about uh, your last fight, man, first. uh, Cage Warriors. Talk about that, man. That was a ridiculous performance, you know? Talk about the fight, how it happened, you know, what went down. I think what it was, me and you, we spoke, you know, uh, when we was over in Phuket and uh, you, you, you caught me, like, in the middle of a session and, like, you saw, you know, you, you saw how much work goes while well put in and you saw the sweat, you saw, I was, you know, it, it's, it's a good vibe when I was at top team, you know. And uh, uh, for me, it's all, been, it's all been mental for the last maybe year, you know. And uh, in the last four months, well, in the last six months, I've been working on, working on that a lot, you know. And uh, yeah, so... The, the last two fights, I felt that I was, I'm, I'm, you know, I was slowly getting into my element. Um, and then Cage Warriors. And then, you know, it just, as soon as I stepped in there, I just, I, I felt something. I felt totally different. You know, I felt totally different. And, and that was the outcome. So, yeah, it was a good, it was definitely a good show good, and a good performance, you know. Um, yeah, it's a good performance. I feel I can do better though, you know. It's always it's always a feeling they can do a little bit better, you know, they'll show a little bit more, but yeah, it was a good performance, you know. Hope everyone enjoyed it, you know. Oh, I'm I'm definitely sure that people enjoyed that fight. Now, when you were going into that fight, did you expect to finish him like that? Is that something you saw, you know, preparing for that fight? Uh, yeah, we we saw he was he, he definitely relied on on the, on the Muay Thai style background, you know, and he, he, he stood very upright. And uh, a lot of his strikes, when he threw his strikes, he, he stayed upright a lot, you know. And uh, even when he was throwing his punches, it didn't really matter what kind of combination he threw. He, uh, he still stayed pretty upright, you know. So it was pretty much down to uh, timing, timing the right shot. And... Uh, and yeah, it just it just worked worked out perfectly, you know, perfectly. So yeah, we what we studied him, we studied him, and we 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 actually studied him and stunned on the mental side and, and and a lot of time and stuff. So yeah, it worked out perfectly. You fought for Cage Warriors a few times now. You know what was the, yeah. the atmosphere like with the bosses? Did they want you to come back, or were you just you know you had to take some time and kind of weigh your options? Uh, I just kind of take some time out, out of that fight and kind of weigh out my options, you know, like, um, I, I've got a lot left in the tank, you know, and uh, I feel, you know, the opportunity came and we're, with a good opportunity and I'm 33 years old and I'm I'm training just as hard as the rest of them out there. Um, I feel that it was, it was just like, it's God's plan, man. You know, it's just, 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 just go with it. And, uh, and I, I keep my head down and I'm in the gym, you know, and I, I just kind of just, just roll with it and kind of just one fight at a time. But yeah, I, I guess cage warriors probably, they did probably have plans for the, for, 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 for probably for their next 12 months. Um, you know, but for me, it was just, it was just more, opportunity came and uh this this, this no 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 bridges burnt or anything it's just you know it's the way things are sometimes you know but uh yeah it's mma this is the world of mma you know it's it's, it's crazy you just you know get your head down and train and, and uh take one fight at a time you know you are 33 years old do you feel like everything that you've gone through the last couple of years young. <laughs> 33 years old yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 no doubt you know? but you know that's the that's the prime years that's the prime ages you know of a fighter you're in the middle of it and and i'm asking you you know the last couple of years you went through the ups and downs is it like now you have everything put together perfectly and all you need to do is just go inside and execute that's exactly it that is exactly it yeah you um you said it man you, you knocked the hammer on the head that's it you know 100 percent do you feel like the strongest you've ever felt? You know, because, you know, a lot of guys are like, they don't get stronger as they get older. They kind of s- peak and stay the same. Do you feel like you're getting stronger and more powerful? Because those punches in that last fight look pretty powerful to me. 
I've always, I've always kind of like, I've always had the power. I've always packed a lot of power, you know, and uh, I feel that. Yeah, you know, some fighters, you know, it's this is a roller coaster ride, you know, and uh, I feel that I have taken care of my body um, a lot uh, throughout the years of training, and I don't feel the wear and tear, maybe compared to some other guys in like like in the game. So sometimes it's sometimes it's more that than just you know than them just fading out. But I feel that I've just you know, I've taken care of my body and uh, I've 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 kind of I'm 33 now and I feel that like I've learned a lot and you know most of the most of the fights you might see me on see me in I haven't really shown I haven't shown maybe how much I've learned you know and uh, a lot of people might feel like watching my fights you know this guy's a Muay Thai fighter or this guy's this or this guy's this but like I train MMA. You know, and and uh, guys in the gym will know that you know uh, we we train all around jujitsu, wrestling. We do it all, and uh, so yeah, I feel I feel that now I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot, and I've matured with the sport. And uh, I feel I feel like I've matured a lot more mentally than physically because like I'm I'm always physically in shape. Uh, I'm not I'm not I'm never like injured. You know, I'm never injured, like long-term injuries, niggles here and there, of course, you know, but like not long-term, you know, oh, he's out because of an injury, you know, he's out and nah, you know, I've looked after my body and uh, um, so yeah, I feel like I'm prime, I'm, I'm in my peak now, like mentally, then physically, you know, physically I'm good, you know, physically I'm a beast, you know, I'm months in the gym, you know, and uh I don't feel like I'm 22 or these these spring chickens out there, you know. But I'm 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 good. I'm good, and uh, yeah, I've taken care of myself, you know. And uh, it's all about the mental side now, the mental side of the game, you know. Uh, uh, a lot of the small things, going back to basics and stuff like that, you know. Uh, you, you know, this these do all these flashy stuff stuff work, but you know, sometimes we have to go back to the basics and go back to the basics and kind of and uh, start all over again. But still have, still have the uh, the arsenal to kind of you know um, compete with the best out there. You know. Yeah, it seems like uh, most fighters, the flashy stuff only gets you so far, and then the guys with the strong basics they go to the top, right? So it seems, man. You see a lot nowadays. You know, it's it, the guys with with with, with the flashy stuff. Yeah, flashy stuff. It's, it's all it's, it's it's great. You know, it's amazing. But then when you get someone that sticks to to the to the to, to, to share basics and then and then and then and then like mixes in the flashy stuff with the basics and then like you know he, 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 he's not just one dimensional he's up and down he's drop you know, he, you know this is what this is you know what the game is now like you know compared to how it was years ago you know he was a Muay Thai guy against a fucking Jiu Jitsu guy or you know he was a stuff like that. so now it's just a uh, uh, understanding the game as a whole, you know, and how to uh, how to mix it all together, you know, how to shoot it all down together, you know. All right. Well, now yeah. you know you're gonna step back into that cage, September 14th, KSW 50. How did you hook up with KSW? Oh, it's management, you know. Uh, Mike Raw, thank you. You know, he's he 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 he's got a good uh, relationship with with uh, KSW and. Uh, we just, uh, it was, it's, yeah, that's the way the dice is rolled and we're ready to go. So it's like in the next four weeks, four weeks, and uh, it, it it always comes around quick. You know, the day the days tick over, but it always comes around quick. And uh, it's, 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 it's going to be another tough day in the office, but it's another day in the office. And uh, this is exactly what, you know, I signed up for. Why did you decide to make this a, a catchweight fight? It wasn't my decision. This is the I'm, I'm a professional, you know, and uh, I can make weight. You know, um, I can make 84 kilos easy. Um, my opponent, he didn't want to make the 84 kilo limit. So, <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so that was that wasn't my that wasn't my decision at all, you know. But um, 
yeah, that it wasn't my decision. But it was, it's at 90 kilos. I'm fine with 90 kilos. You know, that, that means I don't have to cut that much. You know what I mean? And uh, I feel I feel healthy and I'm, I'm very, like, optimal at this weight. You know, this is like, it's, it's, it's better that I cut, to be fair, you know. But now you got me when I'm optimal, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Now, you know, the last time we spoke, you were in Phuket at Phuket Top Team. This time you're not there. You're in, in the UK. Where are you training right now? I'm training at Team Titan, Titan Fire in uh, in London. And uh <coughs> yeah, the last time we spoke, yeah, I was in I was in Phuket just before the the Cage Warriors Night Champions fight. So I'm I'm be, I'm here now because the space in between it was it would have been a uh, two of a short time to leave and go back out to Phuket. And uh, and 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 kind of retrain, regain, and recuperate for this fight. So, and plus the fight was short anyway; it didn't last very long. So, it was all about resting a couple of weeks, and then get back into mobility, get back into the strength and conditioning, and then get back into drilling, and then a couple of weeks of sparring. And that is this is this is where we're at now. We're at that stage right now. So. Who are some of the guys uh, you're working with at Team Titan? Right now we have um, Luke Trainer. He's a light heavyweight pro. Um, he's 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 a he's a prospect in a light heavyweight division. Uh, Darren Stewart, UFC, he comes down. Um, Claudio Silva, UFC, he comes down when he's in the country. Uh, we have a lot of the uh, local scene guys. Like a lot of middleweights, a lot of welterweights are there. Um, so we have Roger, Roger Gracie Jiu Jitsu. Also, um, Raphael, he does a Jiu Jitsu there. So we have a good, a good uh, stable of guys. And also, I go to other gyms here to kind of mix it up. Also, you know. Um, so yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Everything's, everything's kind of it's, 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 it's we're ready we're kind of re- ready good team of boys there you know yeah it seems like the the scene in uh in london in in the uk is just phenomenal right now if you look at the 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 talent that's coming out of that region it's 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 ridiculous yes i think in, in the uk itself the uk is is a uh, is is definitely a revolving compared to how it was five years ago but then again saying that we had a lot of pioneers like Brad Pickett and you know, you know Ashley Grimshaw and John Hathaway and a lot of the, like a lot of guys that you know Jason Young and a lot of guys that I used to watch when I was first starting. They're like the pioneers, which we still see, and they still you know they come through the the gym and and uh, so yeah, it's 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 definitely been revolving now. Now it's crazy. Now it, it, the whole of the UK is pretty MMA crazy. You know, uh, and uh, just even the underground scene here is is pretty big. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty big. So um, we always have like big shows coming to London anyway. Bellator and you know, obviously KSW and Cage Warriors do their shows here. And uh, yeah, this so it's, it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty uh, it's pretty lively with uh, with combat sports. You know, boxing's big here now. Like boxing's been big here anyway. But now the heavyweight division and all this, you know, this uh, Andy Joshua thing and all this other, it's like, it, it's match room boxing. It's all big now, like combat sports here now. It's like really, it's, it's, it's really grown to be like, you know, on the mat a lot more, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time for combat sports. KSW, you know, what are your plans with them? Is this like a one fight deal or do you plan on, you know, going in there and, and kind of like stretching out a, a long, long uh, run in the promotion. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning. Well, we have a free fight contract with them, and I'm planning to climb to the title fight, title, title shot, and uh, you know, see how it goes from there. Pretty much, you know. So um, it, it's a, it's a, it's a clear, uh, it's a clear, it's a clear run to the title. It's not a clear run, but you know, there's obviously there's there's tough guys in the division. Uh, sorry, uh, it was tough guys in the decision. So um, 
like that's the plan. My plan is to one by one, one by one, get to the get to the title shot, and uh, we kind of we go from there. You know, it's a it's a beautiful, nice, shiny gold belt. You know, uh, I would love to kind of reap the reward of all my hard work after you know, and kind of and get and get there and and take that take that take that belt. You know, um, so yeah, it's it's. It's definitely uh it's definitely a fun time. Definitely gonna be fun. The first fight's in the next couple of weeks, so we just you know, I'm just planning I'm just planning to just uh, go I'm planning to just go in there and, and and have fun and uh and make every second of that fight count. You know, and let's not be stupid. You know, let's not be stupid. And uh yeah, it's gonna it's it's definitely what I have had planned in the in the, in after the hack and frost fight when I had to sit down and, and, and think about what was you know, what was in front of me. Yeah, and also the possibility of fighting in front of like what was it like fifty thousand, you know, forty thousand. Yeah. yeah, it's like seventeen thousand, seventeen thousand. I think the last event, last in Poland, was like eighty thousand or some shit. Yeah, so yeah. like you know, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> talk about bums on seats, you know yeah. they 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 put bums on seats and yeah. I, it. I look to be fair, like, I don't know if anyone's seen like a KSW like show. It's nothing. Is it comes close to a one FC comes close to a Pride show. So like, if we had it in brackets, we'll have like Pride and one FC and then KSW for the spectacle, for the entertainment value, and then like we'll have Bellator and UFC and 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 et cetera, et cetera on one side, just just for you know, there's two different brackets. I'll put the shows in two different brackets because. You know, every, everyone that knows One FC and knows Pride, they're all about the whole spectacle first. You know, bringing the fighters out, introducing the fighters to the to the to the people. Uh, uh, you know, the lights. You know, the, everything. You know, crazy. So so people kind of get ready for the fights. You know, before the fights even 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 start. You know, uh, not not everyone is social media crazy. You know what I mean? Like not everyone is 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 on their phones and 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 they can see fight cards and shit and like so when they go to a show and 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 like and they see all this like wow wow you know there's a whole spectacle of the show this is crazy compared to a UFC show which is pretty it's not basic but you know it's not like Pride it's not like KSW it's not like uh the one FC. So I think I think these shows to kind of take the leaf the you know leaf out of their book, you know, and make it more of a spectacle for the people, you know. And it will I think it will put more bums on seats. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I I think it will more capture probably more mainstream TV and, and, and stuff like that, you know, like to be honest, because like I have the last time I saw a KSW show, that shit was gripping from the beginning like the lights and it was just like some crazy shit like dances and it was just like they bring the fires out and it was fireworks and i'm thinking holy shit you not spent money on fireworks like this is why it was gripping it was gripping from the start you know to the to the end so you know i think uh, it's 2019 now so it's you know, a lot of things are happening a lot of things are changing so i think uh, i feel that you know some promotions should kind of take their leaf out there but even in even to be fair when uh even though um, I didn't get to see you at Double G this year, even when I went to Double G in Korea, um, that, was a, that was definitely a good show for their second show. And uh, I I just thought it would be a regular show, you know, just regular, you know, like, you know, the, 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 the night will start, people will come in, they do the undercard, they do the amateurs, whatever, and then the fight, the main card starts, et cetera. But they had the same format as like a pride type feeling. So they bring the fighters. I remember doing rehearsals from like one o'clock, 12 o'clock in the afternoon. We had to wake up like dead early, like earlier, like, like half 10, 11 o'clock. And they're like, you have to go downstairs and have breakfast. I'm like, yo, I'm fucking fighting like in like seven, seven eight hours or nine hours. They're like, no, we have to go to the venue. The, the coach is outside in like an hour. And uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> we, I remember like getting breakfast and then 
And then going downstairs and going in the coach and it's like half 11, you know? And uh, they done all this so they can rehearse, so they can, you know, so they can, so they can have the performance for the, for the fans, you know, first, you know, which is crazy. It was good. It was definitely good, man. When you look at the KSW roster, is there yeah. a certain guy that you see, you're like, I have to fight this guy? Or are you just looking at the champion? I got to reach, cha- reach that champion. I, no matter who I have to fight, I'm going to reach that champion. I have to reach the champion, however, however way possible. Um, I know there's going to be other middleweights in my way. Um, but until their name pops up, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really thinking about him. I was thinking about the guy in front of me right now, and there's a door in front of him. You know, and I'm trying to get, through, I'm trying to get through that door so I can get to the belt. So it, it's probably three, four doors I need to, I need to, I need to get through. If if that means I have to kick it, if that means I have to bring a hammers, if that means I have to, you know, I'm getting through that door to 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 kind of fucking, you know, to get to where I need to be. You know, uh, that's the way I see it. Um, I know there's other guys in the in the division. No disrespect to them, you know. <laughs> no, no disrespect to them at all. You know, we're all professionals. You know, um, so I think we we we'll, we'll get to that. I think you know when we come to it. But yeah, it's it's, it's definitely a tough division. It's tough. It's definitely a tough division. All right, man. September 14th, KSW 50, London. You make your promotional debut. Thanks, Jason, for the time and uh, good luck to you and your future, man. Yeah, thank you very much, bro. I appreciate the time.